So called game up in Baptiste Dynamics. So we got this pretty simple question here. So we have a hundred kilogram crate with a coefficient of kinetic friction. It's originally at rest, and then we're applying these two forces on it. And our goal is to find the distance it slides in order to reach eight meters a second. So to be doing that, we're gonna be using this uh, work energy theorem basically. It's the conservation of energy, right? Energy initial, energy final. It's gonna be the same because we're gonna put in energy, we're gonna take away energy. So let's go ahead and solve for it. So our equation says the initial energies plus the changes in energy is gonna be equal to our final energy. Pretty simple to understand. So let's do that. So our initial energies, right? We're starting at rest. So there's no kinetic energy, no gravitational energy. So we're gonna have that equal to zero. And then what are we inputting energy? What energy are we inputting? Well, there's gonna be the work that we're doing from this 400 newton because we're pushing it in. Then this 500 newton tension force is also applying work to this box. So both of those, we're gonna label that work 400 plus work of that 500. Those are putting in energy. So what's gonna take away energy, right? Well, we have friction. So friction is gonna be opposing that motion. That's gonna be taking away energy. So we're gonna to have to subtract, get the coefficient. All right, let's just label it work friction first. Work due to friction. And then what's that equal to? Well, that's our final energy. So we're picking up speed, right? We know that we're gonna have a final velocity. So our final energy is gonna to have to be that kinetic energy. So we have this equation now, so let's expand it. So what is work? Well, work is force times distance. So let's say we'll add force. So force times distance, right? Let's just plug it in. So we're looking at the force union force. It's applying a force, but at an angle. We're only interested in the force it's applying in the right direction because if we're pushing it down, it's not gonna move any distance down. So we have to make sure we're only applying the force that's in the X direction. So 400 cosine of 30 is gonna give us that X direction force. And then you're gonna multiply that by distance. Our distance is what we're solving for, so that's good that we have that in the equation. So then same with the 500. This is gonna be 500 cosine of 45 times distance, force times distance, minus the friction, so it's gonna be force of friction times distance is equal to kinetic energy, so that's going to be one half mass velocity squared. So we know that the velocity will end up to be eight meters a second. So what can we do here? Well, we can factor out 400 cosine of 30 plus 500 plus sine of 45 minus, right, force of friction is coefficient of kinetic friction times the normal force. And then we're going to have all of that equal to one half uh, mass velocity squared. So what do we not know here? Well, we're solving for distance. And the only other thing we don't know is normal force. So we need to find moment force. So to do that, let's make a force body diagram of the box. So really quick, you know, here's the x direction. Here's the y direction. Let's draw our forces on there. Oops, so this is 30 degrees. And then this is the 400 newton force. All right, then we have this one at 45 degrees, 500 newtons. Gravity's gonna push down, force of gravity, and the normal is gonna push back up. All right, so if we wanna find normal, let's take some of the forces in the y. We know it's equal to zero, because in the y direction, we're not accelerating at all. So if we have the normal pushing up, minus force of gravity, so that's minus mass times gravity. We have this 400 newton force pushing down, so 400, but just sine of 30. And then we have this 500 pushing up, so 500 sine of 45. Kind of reaching the end of my space here. Anyway, you plug in mass is 100 kilograms, gravity 9.81, move normal over, you get that the normal force is 827 newtons. So then we can go back to this equation and we can plug it in. All right, so we're finally at our last step, so distance is equal to so if we're gonna take it, it could be one half, mass is 100 kilograms, velocity is eight squared. And we're gonna divide it by all of this, so 400 cosine of 30, plus 500 cosine of 45, minus coefficient of static kinetic friction, 0.2, normal force, 827. All right, then we're at the end of our equation here, so you plug in this number, and you get that that distance is 5.99 meters. Pretty cool, right? So there you go, that's how you solve this problem. Uh, yeah, not too bad. Uh, if you have any questions on like this, or if you wanna solve some harder problems, check out my playlist, I got a whole lot of problems from the book, and I have a walkthrough for all of them. So feel free to check those out, ask any questions in the comments.
and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for all your support. Peace.